Hello there, Reznov here again, welcome to another easter egg. Our easter egg for today, going to be the forsaken. Before we start, I want to remind you for the thousandth time, that we cut the power from the subscribe button, it won't shock you anymore, if you press it. You will start your game from this location, you will find, that the zombies never stop coming, and the rounds increasing fast, so I suggest, that you leave this area in round 10, because after that there is many doors to open, and you need essence to do that. Once you out from this teleporter follow your waypoint until you find this broken teleporter. Simply you need to find 4 parts to repair it, you don't need a guide to do that, because each part is mentioned by a waypoint. Once you find all of the 4 parts, go back to the teleporter and repair it. Enter the teleporter, and follow the waypoint, then kill the abomination, the abomination is the most powerful elite in the game, but you can kill it easily, if you target it I, because it is its weakness. Enter the teleporter, then activate this button. Congratulations, now you reached 0% of the puzzle, I mean that the puzzle start from this point. Now press the other button on the wall near the balcony, and watch the cinematic part or skip it. Now we need the wonder weapon, it will be much easier, if we start the game by a melee weapon like a knife or a sword, but we still under round 20 so I believe, that the basic knife will be enough. So, go to the crafting table, and buy a flamethrower, then you need to use it to kill those red zombies who explodes themselves. Then grab the red crystal which falls from it. Then go to this place, we are going to use the abomination for two tasks at the same time. What I am going to do now it's not for the wonder weapon, but if you lose the abomination in the first spawn it'd be hard to arrange it again on the right direction. Stand front of the abomination in this place exactly, and make the abomination hit the wall, it will drop one of the parts, that you need it for the neutralizer. Now you can continue your work for the wonder weapon, you need to find one of these purple crystals and make the abomination shot it with the electrical shot, you can do that, by standing behind the crystal, while the abomination shooting. Now go to this shop near the juggernaut perk and continue the game here until you see this meteor falling from the sky. Just stand on the crystal for less than one second, you don't need to keep standing on it like the other players saying, just touch it with your leg. First time you touch it, you will attack by the dogs, second time tempest will spawn. On the third time mimics will spawn, and this is the right time to use the rest of the flamethrower which you use it in the first crystal. Once you killed the last mimic, the barrier on the crystal, will disappear and you can pick it up. Then climb to the tower, and use this teleporter, then come to this place near the arsenal. You need to put the crystals in this liquid, and kill the zombies with a melee weapon, if you don't have one you can use your basic knife. Once you killed enough zombies, the wonder weapon will rise from the liquid. The chrysalax is the powerful weapon in the game until now. Once you upgrade it to level 3 it can kill any zombie or elite by one swing, except for abomination of course. Now back to the tower, upgrade your wonder weapon, and take the electrical ammo mod for your basic weapon. Then go to the arcade and shot the zombies with your basic weapon near that game box until one of them got shocked, the electric field will power the game box, and you can use it for 2000 point and I advise, that you use it in the beginning of the round, when there is no zombies around you. Use the game. Then drive the car to the TV store. Then push this metal thing and go inside, then explode the car in this location. Now grab the monitor, and this is the second part for the neutralizer, because the first one you already took it, when you took the purple crystal for the wonder weapon. Now if you are in solo this will be easy, if you are in a team every player have to take a tank from those tanks, and activate it together in the same time, or you will lost your chance until the next round. If you are in solo just activate any one, and the other will activate automatically, but make sure, that you don't do that until you got the wonder weapon, because all of the zombies in the game going to attack you now. You can see the progress on the tanks, once it reach 100% the zombie will stop, and you can grab the last part. Now you need to destroy the big crystals, and I advise you start with this one, 
Simply you have to shoot the orbs by your wonder weapon. But once you destroyed the first one the other two going to run faster, so start with the hardest. Then switch back to the axe mode and destroy the crystal by one swing. And take this little piece of the crystal, then abomination going to appear you need to throw this piece in the abomination mouth. If you miss, grab another piece of you killed the abomination by mistake, other one going to spawn after some rounds. You know that you are doing the right thing when you see the abomination tail turn to red, after that kill it and take the crystal it going to drop and do the same thing with the other two big crystals. Now you are one step away from the boss fight so make yourself ready. The boss is very easy, upgrade your wonder weapon to level 3 and take some perks and this will be enough, you don't need any special weapon. Once you ready come to this place near the tombstone perk and build the device. Wait until it warms up then activated. These red crystals are the fuel for the device, you need to shot it then take the little piece of crystal it going to drop, then put it in the device and keep doing that until the device stop here. You will find everything you need here, pack a punch machine, arsenal, wonderfiz, and crafting table, this mean that once you open this door boss fight going to start. First destroy that two crystals on the forsaken shoulders. Then switch back to the axe and kill the zombies under Maxis, when you kill enough she will charge the turret, you can use the turret to shoot the forsaken on the red area on one of his shoulders, if you did enough damage to him you will destroy his arm, if not he will heal again. And do the same thing with the other shoulder. Then he is going to transfer you to this location, once he finish talking he will transfer you again to the battle, in this time destroy the crystal in his chest and shoot it with the turret after Maxis charge it. Next step, the crystal on his head, you know what you have to do, once you shoot him in his head for the last time you will start losing your health point until you fall down, don't worry you didn't loss, the game designed like this and this falling will not be counted. Now watch the rest of the cinematic part, and gg, you have done the easter egg in the forsaken map, I will be more than happy if you add me in the game, gg again, Reznov pass from here. Don't do it! I'm not a bad person, Weaver. I am a good soul. I know what I have to do. I'm sorry. This is the only way.